at 11. Well, tonight there's an unlikely alliance ahead of the midterms. Some Arab Americans are putting their support behind traditional conservatives after contentious school board meetings in Dearborn. Fox News' Randy Wimbley takes a closer look. As Dearborn parents and residents sounded off during a school board meeting on LGBTQ books in school libraries, high-profile Republicans sat front and center. Their presence a nod to the unexpected alliance of sorts between conservatives and many in the Arab American community as their interests overlap on this issue. I think you'll find that uh, you know these are people with deeply held religious beliefs. We have to stand up for the First Amendment and people's religious beliefs. And I think you're probably seeing a shift in the Republican Party. And they're doing this because we have an election season and the Republicans are lagging behind in polls. So they're finding anything to grab on in order to get votes. Osama Sablani, founder and editor of the Arab American News, likens this unlikely alliance to temporary marriages in Islam. And in this one, the rings will be off in weeks. November 8th, it will be over. Most of those who attended Thursday night school board meeting were Arabic, There's and the vast majority of them seem opposed the to having LGBTQ books on the library's rolls, saying they're sexually explicit. <laughs> The crowd cheered the white Dearborn mom who brought the issue to the fore and seemed to jeer one of their own. Democrat Rashida Tlaib, the first Arab American Muslim woman elected to Congress. And the only person that's behind this is Rashida Tlaib. Do not vote for Rashida Tlaib. What the Republican Party has done, they've stood on this issue firmly, and they've stood with the parents firmly on this issue. We're waiting for our Democratic counterparts to actually come out and also stand with us on this issue. Politics can make strange bedfellows, and, and this wouldn't be the first time that uh, we've seen this, right? David Dulio, political science professor and director of civic engagement at OU, thinks this union might be short-lived, considering it was conservatives, by and large, that supported former President Trump's Muslim ban and stoked fears of Sharia law becoming the law of the land years before that. But I could definitely see this issue and this 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 alliance. Uh, pushing Arab American turnout up uh, simply because th that community is now energized. Mike Hatcham says what's happening in Dearborn should put both parties on notice. The vote of ethnic and religious minorities are not given. From African Americans to Indian Americans to Arab Americans, we have built this country. And it's time that these political parties to step aside and let us dictate what we want to do, not the other way around. We reached out to Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib for comment. Her team directed us to a statement which reads in part, I stand with all of my neighbors on the side of love and acceptance. It is unfortunate that extremists on the right have been able to set their ugly, bigoted, and well-funded hate machine on the Dearborn community like they have on many communities across the country. They are promoting lies, fear, and outrage while chanting Trump's name. The books in question are off the shelves at the Dearborn School's library as they undergo a review process. The district is also making it easier for parents to limit what books and materials their kids have access to. I'm Randy Wimbley, and this is The Edge.